Welcome along to the vlog. We're still in the process of reassembling the brew kit after we took it all apart and cleaned it last week. I've been doing loads of other jobs around the pub, putting a new hand dryer in, changing door handles, changing hinges, that kind of thing. Uh, but we're back in the brewery now. So my name's Harry, this is Harrison's Brewery, and we're about to take a look at some spray jets that we've got installed on our condenser flue on our boil kettle before we put it back together. It's a perfect time to have a little bit of a peek. So this is said jets. You have to excuse the racket in the background. Gemma's just putting some beer into cask today. So these jets are very simple, uh, cheap brass fittings from e uh, eBay or Amazon. And what they actually are is misters for greenhouses so if you're propagating plants or seedlings then they'll have these jets on top of the staging so they can water them every day now this is just draining off there's no pressure on there we've got the valve closed but what I want you to see and this is one of the most important things is the distribution of the spray when it comes out it really is quite a fine mist and that's absolutely essential just get myself positioned so I don't get too wet that's absolutely essential if you want to condense the steam back into liquid so you want smaller droplets to increase the surface area of contact with the steam and the water itself so a fine mist is perfect for that and then once you've got uh, a little bit of steam condensed what tends to happen is that steam which is quite a large volume will shrink I believe over a thousand times in volume which of course causes a draw on the kettle condenser itself so it's self feeding it's got a, a positive feedback loop so the more steam that's cooled the more steam is drawn into the cooler and it really, on the kettle itself, can produce quite a downwards draw at the bottom. And the good thing about this system as well is it's relatively low on waste water. So we've clocked it at about three litres per minute over these five jets. So I'm just going to stand back a little bit. I'm going to open this valve up and I'm going to let you have a look at the spray pattern. So it's quite difficult to see, but there we go. Fortunately, the phone's waterproof. So that's the spray pattern, and just within an inch or two of coming out, it's almost invisible. Now, conveniently, I'll just turn that off because I am absolutely soaked now. Conveniently, because you've restricted those outlets so much, that means it really does reduce the amount of water flowing through the jets, and like I say, we're down to about three or four litres per minute which isn't a lot over a full brew day in fact we use more than that just like in the boil kettle for cleaning at the end there's 60 litres in there today for instance so you can see kind of what perspective we're looking at here so i'm going to take this back apart we're going to reassemble it onto the side of the kit and uh, then we'll be ready for another brew day so before i put it back on a couple of other things worth noting so when I first designed this I'll just zoom out a touch 
we had just four spray nozzles and they were all in line. Fortunately, one of them was below this tri-clamp fitting so I was able to rotate it. Now the reason I rotated it was we were getting steam out the bottom off the first trial of this. So what was happening was as the cones were coming out in an upside down kind of triangle shape all this section here by the jets themselves didn't actually have any spray so the steam was channeling down the sides and completely missing any of the jets so by simply rotating this last one we kind of blocked that off and then secondly once the condenser flue was up and running it worked perfectly but it sometimes took a while for it to start to get that draw going and if you opened the lid then the steam would prefer to come at you rather than go through the chimney so we added a fifth one at the top here just as this elbow comes down and around and this points down so that creates an initial draw into the condenser flue itself and that draws with it the rest of the steam so this is basically your start capacitor for the whole system then once it's up and running the um, the condensing of the steam into liquid creates the drawer itself so there are a couple of things that are worth noting if you want to design this yourself and then of course uh, if you want to build one should I say yourself then of course we made it modular so every piece I can get my arm in and we can clean from either one side or the other to make sure that any nasties that do go up there every now and then we might have a boil over and it'll erupt up and through the chimney so uh, you need to be able to get in there and clean it so that's that a condenser flue for a commercial brew kettle this is we our brew length is 500 liters but it's about 620 liter boil kettle for comparison so short and sweet boys and girls thank you very much for watching uh, do me a favor and just have a look down in the description please and click the link we are nominated for the north knots business awards harrison's brewery is up for best artist and producer and the brew shed is up for best ho hospitality if you can go along to that link please and click and vote for us i would be much obliged and while you're there our neighbors iron tree designs are also up for best independent retailer so why not give them a vote too I can see I need to clean my camera because it's absolutely covered in water. So I'm going to go and do that. And we'll see you on the next video, which you'll miss unless you subscribe for it. Cheers.